So I got this email and I emailed back and I told him that is probably the most horrible email I've ever received. It actually really sucks. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner and founder of HelpLinks.com. It's my mission and my passion to help others with their business. So if I can be your coach, your mentor, or help you in any way, that's my goal. My goal is to bring you value. So let me know if there's anything I can help you with, and I look forward to working with you. Hey guys, welcome to another Whiteboard Wednesday where I want to talk about email versus email. Now at the beginning of this video, I mentioned somebody I emailed back, told him how horrible and how much his email sucked. And then he replied back to me, you don't know what you don't know, please help. And I was actually surprised by that. And then I started feeling bad that I wrote that response to him. He not only spammed my email, got my email from somewhere he shouldn't have, but he reached out to me, somebody I've never known, never heard of, there's no relationship there. But the whole email was newsletter style all about him asking me to buy something that I'm not in the market for. And that's where this line in email comes in, disconnected. And I wanna show you guys that an email like this, connected, a relationship builder, one that brings your customer or your business relationship value is the key. That is where you're gonna get high open rates, high engagement, and eventually build your brand and make sales. An email like this with a line in the middle, that's disconnecting you from your customers, you from your potential business partners, and that is where the relationship gets disconnected. So as an example, you, when I was building healthlink.com, this is where I reached out and connected with the top health and fitness professionals throughout the world. This website's still running because every email is so personalized, relationship builder, that it looks like I am sending a personalized email to every single person. I never set up a newsletter style email one time. I was also consistent. It was all about the client, never had anything to do with me, probably because HealthLink doesn't sell anything, it's completely free. And that's why I was getting 40 to 60% open rates on almost all of my emails. Now what email rates, open rates are you getting? Five or 10%? And that's why a lot of people say email is dead. I wanna change that. Because yes, newsletter style emails, talking about yourself is dead. Nobody's gonna open that, nobody's gonna read that. So if we have an email like this that comes in, me, talking about me, right? That's the subject line, me. Because you're only thinking about yourself and what you want that person to read in your email. Maybe the subject line for your blog. Read my blog, me, 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 me. Now you're talking about yourself. You're not asking the person what they want, how you can help them or bring value. Go to my link, go to my website, buy this, here's my discount. That's all about you still. Then the very bottom of the email. Looks like a bunch of junk. Unsubscribe, my address, these are all the links. This is, go to my Facebook, go to my LinkedIn, go to my Twitter, me, me, me. Nobody cares. That's why your open rates are so stinking low. That's why nobody even wants to read them. Nobody looks forward to them. We have a great website marketer out there. We follow a lot of his tips and techniques. His subject lines come into me and it's about you. It's about something that I was interested, that I showed interest in and he was able to find out what that was and he put that in the subject line, makes me wanna open it, right? The newsletter is not a newsletter, it's an email, a normal email, three sentences long. Hey, I know you looked at this, thought you might be interested in this, I think this can help. No sales, no promotions, nothing. He knows what I'm interested in, so he sends me a normal looking email, like he would send from his Gmail account. I open it, because I, the subject line was about me, the email has something to do with I'm, what I'm interested, and then a nice link. No, no bit.ly link, no random thing, I'm not sure where I'm gonna be going on the internet. He shows me the exact link he's sending me to. Why confuse people, why scare people? Everyone's so scared of spam and not really sure where your information goes. If you have some crazy looking, ugly link in your email, people are, 50%, I, I'm just making this number up, 50% less likely to click on it just because they don't know where they're gonna be going. They don't know where you're actually sending them. Are you sending to them to some spam newsletter site? 
Are you sending them to a website you don't want to go to, one that won't even open? Show them the exact link you're going to be sending them. And then instead of a bunch of crap about you, right? One unsubscribe. Simple. They don't want to read them. If you're not interested, unsubscribe. This is the big difference. First, unconnected and connected. Relationship builder and non-relationship builder. Are you building and continuing your relationship with every single person that comes into your business or are you disconnecting from them in every email that you send them? I want you to really think about this. Leave me a comment below, maybe some ideas of emails that you've received in the past that you really like and that you've opened and that you like opening. This will help others with their emails. Leave a comment with some spam emails you get, stuff you don't like, so we know, all know to stay away from that. And most importantly, just leave me a comment and thank me for making this video for you. I really wanna help you guys continue to build your business online through relationships, not through marketing, not through ads, not through spam, through relationships. That's the, most, the biggest key, right? We know business is more effective when you shake someone's hand and meet them face to face, so why can't we bring that over online? So leave me a comment below and make sure you guys subscribe to, if you're on YouTube, and I look forward to seeing you guys next Wednesday. Thank <laughs> you.